Let's assume you have multiple lists that you'd need to combine in Kotlin. These are all immutable lists, so you cannot mutate any of them, but you would like to combine them and have a list at the end that contains all the items. It's fairly simple. All you need to do is you have a variable, and you actually don't need a variable if you're just passing this. You could just say mine dot plus theirs. This is gonna return a new instance, and then you can say dot plus others. And this is gonna return all of the, the values concatenated together. So if we were to run this, you now see that the result contains apples, grapes, oranges, pears, strawberries, kiwi, and watermelon. So we've combined all of these immutable lists into one final immutable list. Furthermore, you can do something interesting. You can also, if you have this list and you want to remove a whole bunch of items from it, you could do this. You could say minus, and you could remove a bunch of items. So maybe you want to remove theirs from that list. And what you're going to see here is our result now is we're gonna take out theirs, we're going to remove the oranges, pears, and strawberries, which on the second line of them here, we've removed the oranges, pears, and strawberries. Now, the minus operator does allow you to do a whole bunch of stuff. You can pass in an iterable, you can pass in some sequence, uh, you can pass in an array elements, and so, and you can also pass in a single element itself. So if you just want to remove one item, and you just wanna remove kiwi, and you were to run this, now you would see that at the end, that Kiwi would then be removed. So you can pass in a list or an exact element to be removed. So that's how you can combine concatenate lists together inside of Kotlin, even if they are immutable.